Hello to all the potential people watching this video. I am not a hairdresser. I might eventually be, because I'm gonna be going to cosmetology school eventually. So don't judge me now, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So, I was thinking I wanted to dye my hair. I did a poll on Instagram, and 10 people said I should, and the other six people said I shouldn't. The majority of the people said they wanted me to dye my hair red, but I've already had my hair red previously. So I was just like, I wanna do something darker with my hair, so I decided to go purple. I am not sure if this color is even gonna show up in my hair since it's kind of already dark and I don't feel like bleaching it, so that's probably not a good idea. I'm gonna try it anyways. Um, I don't even know why I'm uploading this. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. So I'm gonna be using Adore 116 Purple Rage. Uh, I already did the first step, which was shampoo and towel dry. My hair is not dry. I don't know if it's supposed to be fully dry when I do this. Um, I'm probably gonna dry it more. And the next step is to use protective cream around my hairline. I know I could use Vaseline or something like that, but I don't even know where that is in my house. And my parents are not really okay with me dyeing my hair. They don't want me to, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Um, so I have work at eight in the morning tomorrow. If I have dye on my hair, in my scalp, or my face or whatever, I'll just try to cover it up with makeup to be honest, but okay. Uh, so it doesn't seem like it's too, too difficult. If you wanna read the instructions, you could just like, I don't know if it's, you could even see that. Uh, no, probably not. Okay, it's not gonna focus. Um, but yeah, this is not a tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing, but um, okay, I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna cut the video now, and I'll be back when I have my hair thoroughly brushed through and start sectioning and whatever. Yes, I have gloves. I'm not that stupid. Uh, I also want to mention, I only have three bottles of this stuff. I don't know if that's going to be enough for my hair, because my hair is kind of thick and it's kind of long, so I'm not sure what it's really going to do. Um, so I brushed through my hair. Uh, I'm scared to get started. I'm like, Okay, so I have this kind of professional kit. I did go to cosmetology school for like half a year, but I never got to the dyeing hair portion. So this is full. Probably not gonna use this. I think this is a, I think this is a stir. Probably not gonna mix anything because I want the color as pigmented as possible. So I guess I'm gonna just where do I begin? I had gloves. I don't know where I put them. Also have these clips from when I went to cosmetology school. So I'm gonna try sectioning my hair the best I could. Uh, I'm gonna do it little by little. I think that will be the best way to go about it. But I'm not gonna do like perfect sections or anything like that. I'm just I'm gonna put some of my hair up and part of it down. 
Now, I don't have anyone helping me with the back of my head. So this could be a complete fail, and then I might get on to the Hairdresser Reacts. By the way, I love that show, but I don't want to be on it. Okay. I don't even know what I'm going to be keeping in this video and what I'm going to just let not be in here. I don't know what I'm doing. Also, just an update, I still don't know how to edit my own videos, so if this is just one long video of nothingness, that's why. I might try adding music or something. It's probably not going to be good. But this is just for entertainment of whoever ends up watching it. So, alright. So I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna open it like this. There is like a little push thing, but nope. Oh, that is, wait, I need to show you guys this. This looks pure like tar. I'm curious about the smell, but I'm not sure. Ooh, this is gonna dye everything. Oh well. I guess I might do a time lapse of this part. Um, I really don't know how to do that. I want to get as much dye out as possible. Ooh. Oh, I should cover my neck. No, I'm not going to do that. Nope. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is a bad idea. Uh. Maybe I should start it with two bottles. Because this thing is already like full. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Uh, do you see how full that is? I might not even need this much. Cuts to using the whole thing. I'm going to get dye everywhere. This is not fun. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut to a time lapse now, I think, or try to. All right, and I'll see you when I'm done putting all the dye into my hair. all together on my head and I got dye literally everywhere it's all on the back of my neck I can feel it like it got all over the shirt I didn't care about the shirt anyways because I knew it would get messy but my workstation you guys wait is there so yeah my workstation over here I kind of got dye everywhere and my mom is gonna kill me so so in the next it says, I think, to wait 15 minutes with this on my head. Hopefully it's not patchy. It's probably gonna be patchy with the amount of time I just mushed it all on my head. I hope I didn't miss anything. Do you guys see anything back there? No, yes, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna try cleaning up my mess within the 15 minutes. This dye is not coming off of me. I'm telling you guys that now. Um. So I'm gonna try to clean up and I'll be back in like 15 minutes. So, just a little bit of an update. Uh, this dye stains a lot. It's barely coming off my neck. 
I have it literally all over my arm. And I don't know what time it is right now, but like I said before, I have work at 8 a.m. tomorrow. This is not coming off. I'm going to work purple tomorrow. Yay. At least I have the excuse because I work at a craft studio. And yes, I'm using toilet paper. Don't judge me. I don't even know how this happened. I mean, you guys saw it. I have a timer going to see. Oh, also from the last time you saw me, I wrapped my hair in tin foil. And by doing that, I actually got dye in my hands too because I already had taken my gloves off. I'm just a smart person. All right, and I'll be back for when I rinse this out of my hair. I'm gonna rinse it out in the kitchen sink because it's a stainless steel thing, so hopefully it doesn't dye it. And I've been trying to remove the dye I got on the counter. Okay, and that actually kind of worked. Okay. So I just use normal bleach to remove it. I let it sit there for a while and it's it's gone off there. I'm not gonna bleach my skin. Why did I even say that? Um but yeah, the dye isn't coming off in the white part of the sink where I got it, so that is kind of a bummer. My mom might kill me for that. So I will be back. I don't know if I'm going to be back for the result because I don't think I can go to film in the kitchen when I wash this off. But I'll be back probably with the final result when I blow dry my hair and whatever else I do. And maybe I'll curl it or something. I don't know. I'll try to present it. Okay, I'll be back. All right, you guys. I have yet to see my hair. As you can see, when I washed it, I should have put gloves on again because now my whole hand is purple um I'm really scared because there was a lot of dye that came out in the sink I've dyed my hair before but I don't know if the dye really took and it makes me scared because I really wanted purple hair you guys and all this dyeing my skin for nothing would be so sad I probably should have bleached my hair beforehand but I would have gotten that done professionally I do not trust bleach to do that myself I shouldn't have even trusted myself to do this so the moment everyone's been waiting for let's see da, 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 da. <laughs> oh no okay it's kind of purple <sighs> this is an interesting style. Alright, so I will be back when I style my hair and have some makeup on or something. Alright. And I'm back. I don't know why that was a question. Um, as you can see, my hair is purple. Didn't take to the parts of my hair that have not been dyed, the virgin parts of my hair. It only stuck to the parts that were somewhat lighter, so it kind of left an ombre-ish effect. It's a little patchy in some areas, like the bot the back parts of my hair are really, really dark, so it didn't really take the purple that well. So it looks a little bit patchy, but I don't think there was really much I could have done about it unless I bleached my whole entire head to one shade. And I don't even think that would have been possible for me to do that by myself. And as you can also see, my scalp is also completely purple, but it did not take to my actual hair on top, which I find so weird. Why does it do that? Can someone like tell me down in the comments? Um, but besides that, I'm actually really not mad with the color. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but there was, I had to bleach my hair for that if I wanted that. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the way it turned out. It's a little bit patchy, but it's 
I did it myself. You can't expect the best from doing stuff yourself. I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? I think I did a good job. Ooh, that is very colorful. All right, tell me what you think down below. If you like this video, um, let me know down in the comments. If you guys think I should dye my hair again, also upload that the next time I do that, let me know. Um, yeah. Bye.